Step 2. Define the Evolver model. Once the logic of the model is in place, you need to define the Evolver model. This means that you need to identify the objective cell, the adjustable cells, and any constraints. To define the Evolver model, click the Model Definition button on the Evolver ribbon to bring up the following dialog box. First, choose whether you want to maximize or minimize and select the cell to optimize. In this case, you want to maximize the profit cell, C27. Click the Add button in the Adjustable Cell Ranges section. This brings up the dialog box you see here, where you can select a range of adjustable cells. When you click OK, the Model Definition dialog shows this range, and then you need to enter lower and upper bounds on the adjustable cell values. The limits 0 and 1800 work well here because even if the company devotes all of its resources to a single product, it can never produce more than 1800 units of any product. If you click the drop down next to the Any label, you see the following dialog box. If you accept the Any default, this means that any values in the 0 to 800 range, even decimal values, can be chosen. For this model, you should select the integer option. Then Evolver will search only through integer values in the adjustable cells, which makes physical sense for this model. The discrete option could also be used. This is typically chosen to speed up the search. For example, you could choose the discrete option with a step size of 5, and Evolver would try only the values 0, 5, 10, 15, and so on for the adjustable cells. There are no other adjustable cells in this model, so you can now specify the resource availability constraint. Click the Add button in the Constraints section and fill in the dialog box as follows. Note that there is an upper limit on the C21 range. There's the upper limit, but there is no lower limit. So leave the minimum box blank. When you click OK, the dialog box for the model definition looks as follows. If you had other adjustable cell ranges or constraints, you would add them in the same way. Once you are finished and you click OK in this dialog box, nothing happens, at least not yet. You have only defined the optimization model. In step 4, you will actually optimize. Now it's your turn. Set up the model definition as shown in the last dialog box that you just saw. Remember to add limits 0 and 1800 to the adjustable cell range. Evolver requires limits, even if they are wide ones, on all adjustable cells. Also, remember to make the adjustable cells integers.